Okay, so when you're doing real estate, um, the bank will challenge you if you have an uh, extraordinary amount of money and not know where it came from. Right. Mm hmm. Could you elaborate? Because of the drug sales and, mm -hmm. and stuff. Because they used to then challenge you many years ago. Mm. So, how is the real estate a uh, real estate business going now? Is this still a good time? Do you oh, think blacks should? Oh, this is a good time. It's a good time for sellers to sell too, mm. because this is a seller's market. The only thing uh, right now, uh, people should be building houses for people because there's not enough merchandise. Hmm. Somebody had a lot of sales also for the properties that were uh, foreclosed on and they're sitting vacant and everything. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of people say, I'll run out here and make an offer on this house because uh, so I can start it making investments. Well, what happens, some people go out and look at a house and they figure, I'm not going to make uh, the the offer on this house for that amount of money, well, you're not the only one that got money that's investing. So what they do, they give it to the highest and best investor. And that means that you're, you, if you want something, you're going to have to pay for it, even though it has to have a roof and plumbing. And so, and you look at it, if it's structurally sound and it, and it has the space you need, as far as square footage, mm -hmm. got a full basement and stuff, you can always bring that property in a living condition mm -hmm. with, with certain rehabs. What if people don't have money? What, how could you go about doing it? You could, if you got good credit. Ah. You can use your credit ability. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. To, to get the house. Are there any loans now or any kind of thing that black people can acquire or anybody can acquire property with hardly any money? Yes, uh, they have a program that's out that if, if, if you qualify for that program, you can probably um, come in where it's a 60... $60,000, $60-some-thousand-dollar house, $65,000 house, you could probably go in and bring in $2,000. Oh, so you're saying if it's a... Mm -hmm. You're saying if it's a $55,000 house, you could probably uh, do a down payment of 2000 When the closing, about $2,000. Oh, okay. Yeah. In fact, I just closed one uh, about a month ago. Oh. I didn't know about it. Oh. Because he had asked the seller to pay a percentage point toward the buyer's closing costs and are prepaid. And the seller had not signed that agreement. And they said, uh, well, that's... That's when, when you go to get financing, sometimes the lender will tell tell the the uh, salespeople how to write the offer up so that the, the seller will pay some of the closing costs and are prepaid. Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't, I didn't, my seller wasn't going to pay no closing costs. And when I went back and told them because they had on their pre-approval, this is what the seller needs, uh, the buyer needs to help. And then and then they straightened out. They said, well, we, we can put her up on the program that it should work out well and the seller will not have to pay any of the uh, buyer's closing costs and are prepaid. Oh. 
and it's a good program. Mm-hmm. So people don't have the money like the down payment, big down payment. Uh, they can ask that 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 uh, they're looking for any type of program that will help them because they don't have the type of funds for the down payment and closing costs. Oh. Are there any um, grants or anything that are out right now to fix up houses? Some of, some of the communities do. Oh. Some of the communities have uh, money for investors. That's kind of like what your revitalization uh, program would kind of cover. I mean, if everybody had a um, neighborhood association, uh, nah. Okay, so yeah, you would if it yeah. So the revitalization program is different because you would need volunteers. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Mhm. Okay. But Detroit, Detroit still have a lot of vacant houses. So what? Who? Do they? Do we? Yeah, we do. And are they big houses or what? Big houses, small houses, all kind. Um, down in certain areas, you can buy a house for like $5, big house, big, beautiful homes that still has its integrity. As really? Far, mm-hmm. But it, it's going to need a lot of work, and but you have to move in. You can't rent it out. And well, it has to be owner-occupied. Owner-occupied. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah. You have a- had a previous house already, and you wanted to move into one of those houses, or is it that you can buy it if this is your first time buying a house, or what? Um, it doesn't matter. You can if you ever had one already. It doesn't matter. Just they're they're just trying to save these homes. These are really, 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 really beautiful homes that were abandoned, I guess, probably because oh, of the uh, mm. crisis, the mortgage crisis and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, beautiful homes. They show them on TV over here, like on the public TV stations and stuff. Are people taking advantage of that? Yeah, people are taking advantage of it, and they're building nice neighborhoods, nice communities, Absolutely. rather. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. All kind of races, not just Good. one race. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's a lot. Uh, Detroit is changing a lot. I've got to start getting involved with the Urban League and whatnot to find out more about what's going on. I want to be a part of, of something that's um, developing the community. But I, even though my heart is in Muskegon, you know, wherever we are, you know, just to make an impact and make a difference. Right. Yeah. So, Miss Morris, I guess now we've been on the phone for a little while, so I'm not going to continue to take your time up like this. Um, but... I would like to continue this, and we will be posting these conversations on Facebook and YouTube and places like that so that um, we can share you with the rest of the world. And I thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And I thank you for giving us your time and your knowledge. So... Um, by Facebook family and YouTube.